Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Nocturne Rebirth. In the last episode, we got really far in Ristol's castle. In this episode, we're going to be continuing forward. And I'm just looking at my stuff right now. And checking. I probably should change Luna's... cross necklace to something else. It... It offers temporary peace of mind, but... I don't know what I should do. I don't know if I should upgrade her mentality. Again. Since I just realized she had another one. I'll just keep it for now. I'm, I'm too indecisive about it. And also save. And items, please. Yes. All of the items. All of them. Going to need all the items I can get for this. So was I not able to buy a full weapon, or not weapon, but... Was I not able to buy the best for her? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Well, I do need that for Reviel. So I will get that for him. Good thing I thought of that before we actually fought anything, though. Still, surprising I survived without even the best equipment at the time. So I should change the formation. Um... Okay, there we go. Reason for that is so that the, uh... Also, what is my alchemy at right now? So, I could make a Kalichi Merida, but... Yeah, it's not the best. I already have one. To be honest, the things you can make aren't great. The only thing that's really great is these, this stuff. Is making other things with what you have. That being said, you by no means have to do any of that. But still, it is important. Grave clear, level 26. A barrier. We're not touching that. Okay. Alrighty, a lot of damage done to Reviel. Take him out. Marigold, 252 mil. I have to wonder if the items are random, because I swear... Every time I play this game, the items are different in each location. So I have to wonder if... There's a random drop table. Sidewonder is coming in very handy. And yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do Alyssa and Flowers for her before she does anything else. That being said, though... I do need Sidewinder upgraded on him, but I also need Gloom Firefly really bad. I also need to max out all of his sword stuff so that he gets as much strength as possible. And to make sure he's doing a lot of physical damage. Since magic damage is going to be worth poop later. And now, to be honest. Like, the only thing time magic damage really is helpful is when you're fighting enemies. That I found, at least. Alright, 308 mil. Yellow herb. Battle. Dawn dish soap. And there we go. I just want to keep Reviel somewhat at half health, because he'll at least dodge a couple abilities if he gets hit. So that's good. That being said, though... Okay, good. All is good in the world. 
And well. What are you? A necromancer. Doesn't make sense, but okay. Take you out and done. Crisscross obtained. Really should upgrade these abilities. There's also my passives, too. With regeneration being one of them. Alyssa and Flowers, 4,800. Okay. I could really use that before we go further. I don't really want to have abilities that are, aren't level 5, but I have to deal with it. Battles, more Dawn detergent. Okay. Jewel weed, red potion. Door is apparently locked. Let's leave it alone. Last thing you're gonna want to do at this point is cause myself more pain for, um running out of XP. Not doing that. No sorry. Oops. Oh well, got the job done. Also, for the love of everything that's holy, do not ever remove White Knight or uh, Moon Petal Dance from your uh, skill set. And the reason why is because they have a very long SCT, and every time you remove an ability from your skill menu, you have to go through battles to unlock that ability again. So if you're like, well, I'm going to test out this ability before I do a boss fight, and then completely get destroyed because you didn't have your abilities recharged, that's happened to me. So, just warning. Way ahead of time. Alrighty, that Mystic Ice needs to go away before I die. Because it has the ability to self-destruct, and I do not like that. Okay. Locked. And loaded. Alright, well. I'm gonna level up regeneration. And next thing would be meditation, and then regeneration again. Just because I really like the idea of these passives being maxed. And Alyssa Flowers needs 4,800. Okay. Alright, we hit that, and as we can see, there's no way to leave this room, and ow. Okay. I really should get rid of counter, because now that I'm thinking about it a little bit more, comparatively to my other abilities, it's going to be relatively useless, considering most of the enemies that use abilities that are bosses are not going to be using physical attacks against me most of the time. I guess it would be just more worth it if I didn't have it. At least when fighting bosses. It's kind of helpful here, but again, if you want to like speed through battles, I guess it's not. So as you can see, wind hits that. I like this puzzle a lot. And you also have to be walking a little bit in order to see that you can even activate that. But yeah, it's really nice. Let's see, almost leveled up Listen Flowers again. Take out the gold bat, and there we go. Alright, let's, uh, let's use Dawn. Because quite frankly, I don't, uh... Oops. 
need to make sure I use that dish soap effectively. And also, I don't want to have Reviola just constantly dying in battle, making me use a lot of MP just to revive him. Yeah. Not good times. Okay, good. Got Muri to drive right back immediately. Always a good sight. Come here, you. And... Alright, there we go. Go in. You guys really just don't give enough XP. Just saying. Can you, like, give me more XP? Please? Getting really lucky with the uh, Meteor Driver charging. Granted, that's all thanks to Accelerator, which I really need to level up further. Um... Oh. Because that can also work on max on uh, abilities like Royal Crest effects. Okay, well. I really need to upgrade those abilities too. I'm really stuck between a rock and a hard place. Hit that, and then a magical one appears in the center because that room needs to be used. If you slow down enough, you can see that there's a... Uh, button here. Press that, and we can continue forward. We're just gonna use wind to activate that from a distance so we can speed up. I feel bad for anybody who was just thinking, well, there's no puzzles in this game, I'll just uh, go with the flow, because that's 2000 XP wasted. Mm -hmm. And take you out. Okay, well, some flowers can now be upgraded. Level four. Wow, that's a lot of XP to level that up further. But look at that wisdom, though. It's going to help me so much on the long run, though, for that. Because, you know, Listen Flowers works on, eight, on uh, MP. It's very much in my best interest to make sure that that is completely uh, leveled before I uh, do anything too drastic here. Darn it! Forgot to line up penetrator. Oh, crap. Well, let's just keep attacking. Acts of Grief! I find it sad, though, that I'm not going to be able to use as many of these guys as I'd like. Like, I'd like to show off more familiars, but they're kind of... very specific use, and the format that I have works a lot very, very, very well, so I, I'm gonna try to keep the format that I have instead of going on a tangent, but that being said, you know, whatever floats your boat for um, strategy you can use in this game, which is what I mainly appreciate about it. Choose Oracle real quick, because I don't want to die in this battle. And then I'm probably going to use, uh... What did I just get? What did I just get? Huh. You again. Or did I get another Lombardia? I did get another Lombardia. Well, Satsuna is better. Also, secret. Yellow potion. What was that? I didn't see that. Game, you need to stop, stop doing that. The going way too fast on the screen. Granted, it would also help if I didn't press buttons too much as well, but still. And he's dead. Well, that's not good. Hmm. 
Okay. Something. Wheels back up. And some flowers is charged. Right on time. Okay, that looks like a... Yeah, vermilion bird suit. i never seen that before. Fire attacks and skills. Well, I'm definitely going to need that anyway, because... Well, it's special equipment. And also level up uh, Meteor Drive to the max. Might as well use the rest of the XP I have to level up something else. Royal Crest, why not? I'm gonna need that anyway. At any rate. Um, I'm really gonna need Elysium Flowers maxed out, because the higher you level up your abilities, the better off you are. Obviously. With that being said, her abilities, like Purity, or Purify, I believe Purify works by the higher level you are, the more she can cure you from. Which I would not suggest that being any lower than 5 when you do the next battle. Because I believe it, it will cure the curse ability, which is awful. So I guess it doesn't really matter as much, considering the fact that Revio is almost, almost dead anyway, but still. Alright, level 5! Meteor Drive. Getting its payout. Getting more XP from enemies now, which is great. Uh, really should level up Shadow Ripper. I'm gonna need that. A lot. Okay, penetrator is available, and I did not hit all of them. Crap. This is bad, sort of. Well, not as bad as I thought. It's Dawn dish soap. I might always be almost dead, but at least I can deal with the damage. Secret. Meteor Drive, thank you for charging. Thunder Claps. Magic Ring and 252 mil. Let's see what Magic Ring does. Increases her magic by 10. Magic power. But it decreases her MP by 20. E no, thank you. I'd rather have my MP. <laughs> more abilities, more spells being used. That's better than what that is. Hmph. <laughs> Thunder Rage did not level. Or did I? I haven't actually clicked that yet. Hmm. I may have put myself in a sticky wicket because of that. Hmm. Fountain upgrade. Or Elysium Flowers upgrade. I think I'm just gonna hold off on her XP for now. Oops. I didn't mean to guard, because guarding is pointless! Okay. At least I can take out most of them before I use Fountain again. Alright, Fountain. Back into the fray! So want to risk not getting any XP? That would be bad. And I say no to you, sir. No abilities being used here. They're being used against Mr. Reviel. 
Also, this one can be hard to choose, but uh, I'm just going to make that decision for you real quick. Because it says, here lies a reflection, uncover the odd ones. The odd ones is the things that's not flipped, so you have to hit the one that is not flipped and the one that is flipped. In order for this to open. Just so that there's no confusion. It did confuse me the first time I played the game, so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna... Okay. Thank you for killing Raviel instantly. And Raviel's back now. We're gonna Dawn Dish Soap him. And then, uh... Yeah, we're gonna continue on here. There we go. Advanced Applications Alchemy Recipe and Thunder Element. What does that even do? Also, items glossary. I forgot to mention. This is uh, all the items in the game. Ow. Needless to say, there's a whole lot more stuff than I thought. Also, there's Cassandra's Memoir, which gives you a skill reset for all levels. I highly suggest making this if you want to go through Brave Clear, but you need this in order to do so. So long as your uh, familiars are not above the level for the Grave Clear, Cassandra's Memoir will basically make it to where you can level as much as you want, but right before you fight the boss, you can reset your skills and you can go back to basic level. So I can now make a Lombardia. There's just one problem with that. I have a better weapon. And also, in the next episode, we will be continuing forward. See you guys then.